Mr. Speaker, the President of the United States. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. I'm Noah Gray, and here with me is Skylar McKinley, NGN News contributing producer and political guru. Uh, we're here at American University in D.C. coming to you from my dorm room. Skylar and I watched the State of the Union address tonight from the tavern at American University. Uh, many students gathered to watch the State of the Union. Uh, it was sponsored by the College Democrats. However, there were people there of both parties. And speaking of both parties, we saw something unusual tonight. We saw Democrats and Republicans sitting together. Not something that usually happens for the State of the Union. Skylar, what do you think about tonight? You know, I think that's very interesting that you bring up that point. That's uh, that's Senator Udall who, who put together that bipartisan bill for seating, and I think that was a good message about what happened this evening. If you go back a year and you look at the president's remarks from last year, he was focused on what he wanted to accomplish with his administration and his allies in Congress. Now the Democrats have lost the House of Representatives, and now that the speaker for this night's event was, was Boehner and not uh, Nancy Pelosi, uh, we saw a president really focusing on issues that appeal to both parties, and you saw him uh, cutting down on, on corporate tax. He, we saw him vowing to veto any bills with earmarks. And so what you saw was him uh, not only appealing to Democrats to work with Republicans, but appeasing Republicans that, and, and showing that his administration isn't always the enemy. Let, let's talk about the young people in this, because that's what we do. We try and relate everything to us and uh, the next generation. Um, now, a, a, big, a big thing you heard about in this speech was education. And uh, when I spoke to young people here on campus about what the most important issue to them that, that the president covered was, they say education. It's, he told us, you know, if we want to do something for our future, um, become a teacher. Uh, that didn't go over well with a lot of the people in there. Uh, they didn't necessarily applaud for becoming a teacher, but they did applaud when he was talking about increasing education, making college more affordable for young people and sending more people to college. Um, education, education, education. Whoa, I mean, what's up with that, Skylar? It's interesting. Um, this was a speech that was kind of directed at Americans and how we stand in the global market. Uh, and education, education, education relates to jobs, jobs, jobs. And the point he made was not that American schools are failing America, but we are failing the globe. American students are not leading the way across the globe anymore. We're not world leaders in terms of education. And so I think he made an appeal to our generation through the work that his administration can do to really put us back at the top of the charts and, and make us leaders in education because we're not competing with, with ourselves, but we are competing with, with nationals abroad. An interesting point that uh, the president brought up, um, international students. He made a point that we have so many international students that we allow to come and study in our country and then we don't let them stay. We send them back to their country to compete against us. Um, so something that, that the president definitely touched on was immigration reform uh, and strengthening our borders, but at the same time letting students who are already in this country studying stay here and help, and help our country benefit. One thing the president also spoke about was his recent repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, which he uh, worked very hard on. Um, he also encouraged college campuses throughout the country to allow ROTC on their campus and military recruiters back on campus. That's something that actually just happened here at AU. ROTC wasn't allowed to be on campus and the undergraduate student senate just passed a bill allowing ROTC to come to campus here on American University. I think what's very interesting about our generation and Don't Ask, Don't Tell is that we see patriotism as serving in the military and serving your country. Uh, and that comes down from every generation, that uh, the America's army is very patriotic because it's doing America's work abroad. Uh, and so what the president did was he uh, really admitted to our generation that uh, gays are as patriotic uh, as every American and they have the right to serve. And since our generation trends to be uh, more open about their sexuality and, and tend to have a higher gay population than the general voting populace, I think that was big for us. Uh, was that his acknowledgement that that gays uh, are as patriotic and, uh, and just like the rest of us. And now the United States government military policy says the same thing, that everybody has a right to serve our country. Something that certainly went over well here at AU, uh, since we have a very uh, high gay population here as well. Clean energy was a big thing. Um, clean energy, that got, I'd say, the loudest cheers tonight. Um, th they were laughing at John McCain and John Kerry sitting together, once again, bipartisanship that we don't necessarily see. Um, a lot of the people are saying that it was a, it was a very hopeful speech. Now, uh, President Obama campaigned on a platform of hope uh, back in 2007 and 2008. Um, 
But some people lost their, their hope. And I asked a lot of the young people today if they still feel hopeful. And a lot of them said yes. Um, but some said no. Some said that the speech sounded too good to be true. Is this too good to be true? Is it, do you think that President Obama can deliver on all that he spoke about tonight? Listen, it's a State of the Union address, and the thing about a State of the Union address is that it's not always policy specific. It is a broad outline of where the Union stands and what we can do about it. And I think in that regard, the fact that he even mentioned some of the things he mentioned in that speech is a lot of progress. A, a dedication to focus on renewable energy uh, is something that, that we need, regardless of any work that gets done on it, simply a public dedication to that. Uh, talking about the DREAM Act is the same kind of thing. And I think that what Barack Obama did with this speech for our generation is that there was a lot of energy in 2008. There was a lot of that hope. And as we see political infighting and as what we see on the news, uh, we, don't, we don't feel that hope until you get the president uh, addressing the nation again and addressing him in his campaign style and, and promising not, not to focus and, and fix all of our problems, but to really uh, recommit to having everyone try and focus on and fix our problems. And I think that was very valuable. Absolutely. Some, some, some neat ideas that young people think, some neat ideas that he spoke about tonight, talked about this high-speed rail uh, that he wants to you know, have. Uh, he, he continued talking about health care, uh, earmarks, um, whether or not students can stay on, on their parents' health insurance plan. One girl I just spoke to said that something happened with her mother's insurance plan, and she doesn't have any insurance right now. Um, these, these are the issues of importance today on college campuses, I would say, and I think, Skylar, you can agree with me. Education, jobs, whether they can come out of college and get jobs, whether they can afford college, and that's something the president sp spoke about. Well, you know what else is interesting is that he talked about something that presidents don't talk about. He talked about the Internet and the Internet economy, and that's somewhere where our generation is finding a lot of jobs and they're finding a lot of work. Um, and I think that for the president to acknowledge that Facebook and Google uh, are tools and their tools particularly used by us, by our generation, I think acknowledges that that's where we're going to find jobs and that's where we're going to keep competing. He even mentioned that he encourages Congress to put their, their spending online like the White House is doing so we can have that more transparent government uh, and, and we young people can go right online and see how much you know they're spending. It's interesting, we were watching the, the State of the Union address on TV tonight, but there were kids with their laptops watching it online on the White House's website, and I know there was a whole big thing about, oh, big interactive. Um, a lot of people are saying it wasn't as interactive as they expected it to be, uh, but it was kind of neat to have it. I know I know Bush uh, was the first president to, to put uh, the State of the Union online, but it was neat to be able to watch it on the computer and see the graphs and the graphics um, to go along with it, especially since as young people we're always on the go and it's hard to, to catch the whole speech. Um, speaking of ca young people being on the go, I think we're getting, uh, getting to our time here. Uh, any last comments from you, Scott? I think it was a great speech. I think that it uh, really is refocusing energies that a new Congress and a new White House uh, in some sense can work on. So I think it was a good starting point for the next two years. Why should young people care, though? Young people should care particularly because he spoke so much about our generation. Uh, he spoke about things that we don't talk about, like the Internet, uh, and he mentioned Sputnik moments, and we need our Sputnik moment, where we are motivated by the challenges the rest of the world pose against us to really work hard and to compete hard, and I think that that falls on us. The last generation had their Sputnik moment, and this is ours, I think is what the president's saying, and uh, it's going to take our energy and our recommitment uh, to policies in the Republican Congress and the Democratic White House to really get things going. Great conversation, Skylar. Thanks for uh, stopping by. I spoke to many young people there. We'll be putting together a piece to hear some student reaction. Uh, it'll all be coming up here on NGNnews.com. Thanks for stopping by. Till next time, take care. The President of the United States.